Hi, this is Charles. Welcome to Basic Business Fonts. Now, using fonts in your resume is the first step to making a good connection with the reader, the recruiter, or the potential employer. Now, one thing I want to remind you is that these recruiters or potential employers or the readers, there is probably a very good chance that they have read many resumes or they have many resumes to go through. So they don't have much time to devote to just your resume. And typically it's uh, very fleeting. It's about seven to eight seconds. They just scan it and then they move on. So you want to make sure that you do everything you can to make a really solid connection. And fonts is one of the ways that you can either be a resume that's just cast aside or a resume that stands out. There's three categories that you want to avoid with the type of font that you choose. And there are old fashioned fonts that don't have that quite modern appeal. Uh, there are ones that are just not really readable for whatever reason. There's a huge variety of fonts. And then there's those fancier fonts that uh, they just have too many lines, extra lines, curly cues that don't really add anything to your experience and skills uh, that are written on the resume. And it's just a distraction. Also, you want to be careful not to use too many different types of fonts. When you get to four or five fonts, that's just a little bit too confusing, distracting. The reader doesn't know quite what you're trying to do, especially if they're just looking through it really quick. Also, you don't want to use a font that's too small. Otherwise, it's just a strain on the eyes of the reader and they really just don't, aren't comfortable with looking at anything for too long. Now, the basic idea that you want to stick to is clarity and readability. And uh, there's different ways you can do this, and there's types of fonts that you can choose from. And the two fonts that are the classic ones that are they're up to date, that people know what they are, and people can not get too distracted by the type of font because it's just a, a, a very common regular font that won't draw too much of a, a distraction. Now, this is Times New Roman and Arial. You're probably already familiar with these fonts. But there are other fonts that you can choose as well that still stick to this clarity and readability principle. Those include Georgia, Calibri, Meriwether, and Verdana. And there are others as well. You typically want to stick to fonts that kind of uh, have the same idea of Times New Roman and Arial. So make sure you consider this when you are putting together your resume and good luck. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.